Hey everyone, welcome to The Dark Confidants. I'm Corey. And I'm Marcus, and today we're playing our game three of our three game set. We're let's get into those decks. So we have Kelsey returning on Layweaver Loreweaver. This is a deck that looks to generate infinite mana with Layweaver and deck out his opponents with Loreweaver. Her opening hand was a Mole Drifter, a Market Festival, Salvager of Secrets, a Forest, an Island, a Voyaging Seder, and a Felden's Cane, which she did mulligan to the bottom. Next up, we have Dalton, who's playing Stormkirk Captain for Vampire Tribal. His opening hand had Thriving Bluff, Fire Diamond, Sisay's Ring, Recover, Blade Brand, Swamp, and Command Tower. And I'm on Malcolm Kettis. This is a deck that looks to win through Malcolm or another pirate, and card effects that allow you to tap the deal damage to your opponents and untap using the treasure that Malcolm creates. My opening hand was two Snow Covered Mountains, a Terramorphic Expanse, Ash Barons, Spell Pierce, Quicksilver Dagger, and a Step Through. And finally, I'm playing Relentless Rats Tribal, where the deck goes tall and wide by playing multiple Relentless Rats where they each grow in size with the additionals on the battlefield. In my opening hand, I had three Swamps, two Relentless Rats, a Doom Blade, and Murder. Now let's get to the gameplay and see who will achieve greatness at any cost. I just play Thriving Bluff, naming Black Aster. Okay, draw. <laughs> Island, A1, Brainstorm. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I go? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, let's play Swamp and Pass Turn. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just going to play Terramorphic Expanse, go ahead and crack it, and I'll pass. I'm going to grab an island. Untap. Draw. I'm going to play a Command Tower. I'm going to tap, tap for Fire Diamond. There's Battle Tap mm -hmm. and Pass Turn. Forest, pay two for a Voyaging Satyr. It's a tap to untap mm -hmm. target land. And pass turn. Okay. Tap, keep draw, play a swamp, and pass turn. Mm -hmm. Tap, draw. Snow covered mountain. And I'm just going to pass. Okay. And tap, draw. We'll play Terramorphic Expanse for land for turn. I'm gonna tap, tap, tap. Commander, move to end step. I'm gonna crack Terramorphic Expanse. Get a swamp, pass turn. Yeah. End of your turn also, I'm just going to basic land cycle, Ash Barons. Okay. Uh, play an island for land turn. Tap a blue, tap to tier. Um, Blue's floating, and then pay four for a market festival. Whenever enchanted land is tapped for mana, its a controller adds two mana in any combination of colors to his or her mana pool. Nice. Faster. Okay. Tap. I'll keep drawing. Play a swamp. I'm gonna tap three, and I'm gonna play commander Relentless Rat. Mm -hmm. And now. My deck begins. <laughs> yep. turn. It's a turn three deck. So that's when it starts. Island. I think I'm going to pass. Yeah, I'll pass here. Okay. Untap. Draw. Play Swamp. I'm going to tap one, two, three, four. For Sisay's Ring. Nice. And then I'm going to swing two, two. You, Corey. Okay. Pass turn. Okay. Uh, Quandrish Campus for land return. Mm -hmm. um, tapping. Um, let's say blue for the um, other two, and then tap all of that. So for five, uh, Mole Drifter. Mm -hmm. So like, when it comes into play, draw two cards. And next turn. Okay. Tap, keep, draw. Gonna play Swamp. We'll tap three and play Commander Sphere. Mm -hmm. And I'll swing two at you, Dom. You got it. 
and I'll pass through. Okay. Mountain. Um, I will go ahead and get Candace out. So, and I'll pass turn. Okay. On tap. Draw. I'll play Unknown Shores. Nice. Land for turn. Going to the man in the way. pay two. Okay. No for Dust Legion Zealot. Oh, Whenever wow. he enters the battlefield, you draw a card, you lose one line. I'll lose one line. I'll draw a card. Okay. I will play. Let's use it this one. I will play Child of the Night. And then I'm going to. Two, three, and a black. For Bit of Revelation, look at the top four cards of your library. Put two of them to your hand, and the rest in the graveyard. You lose two life. One, two, three, four. Put these two in hand. A mountain and Sizzling Garage, and I lose two life. Two. Mm -hmm. Move to combat. Marcus? Yeah. Uh, I'll just take it. <laughs> <laughs> Fast turn. Yeah. Play an island. 2 1 1 1. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, they're really 2 2. 3 2. A slide of hand? I forgot these. Put one to hand, other on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Tapping, all for green, mm -hmm. and then one more for a Dawn's Reflection. Um, Enchanted Land is tap for mana, it adds two mana of any combination of colored mana to his or her mana pool. Mm -hmm. and do that under Quantrix. Mm -hmm. Tap Voyaging Satyr, untap oh. Target Land. Afraid of cleansing, so it makes sense. Yeah, spread it out. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was thinking, what? But no, it's probably safer now. Oh, yeah. Okay, three, um, so green and then say two blue um, for a Blossom Dryad and Tap Target Land. Last turn. This is a build your own lay weaver. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. So here we see Kelsey's deck performing at top levels. On her sixth turn, when she untaps, she'll have 15 available mana. She has two lands enchanted to tap for three and two creatures that can untap lands. All she needs now is a few combo pieces, cards, and she can go infinite very quickly. Yeah, that's what makes this deck really terrifying and just really powerful is, you know, how fast it can ramp. Um, she's basically one card with free from the reel um, away from winning the game at this point if someone doesn't have interaction. Yeah. On tap? Yeah, free from the reel on any of those goes bad. Yep. Land for turn. Um... I'll tap three. I'll play a rat. Mm -hmm. Red Lightning Strikes now at three, three, three. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna swing three at you just because you hit me for two. I'll block with the lifeline. I'm going to murder Stormkirk Captain. Okay. Uh, it loses first strike, and yep. now it's a two one. You'll gain two. I'll gain two, but it's dead too. Fast turn. Yeah. I'll get that back. <laughs> I, I'm sure you will. <laughs> sure you will. It's like Not the only, only way this works is if he blocks a child. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll pay three to get Malcolm out. Fast turn. On tap. Draw. I have to turn as a swamp. Two. Storm Kirk? Yeah. P3. Most importantly, a black and two. For mm -hmm. recover. Turn target creature from your graveyard to your hand. Child of Night. Draw a card. Hmm. Pass. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Tapping for five, gonna put out Salvager Secrets. 
When it enters the battlefield, return target insert or sorcerer card from your graveyard to your hand. Okay. So I'm gonna target brainstorm. Sure. Tap to play brainstorm. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, there she gets freed. Yep. Plays it, equips it, goes infinite, plays lore and lay, draw all the deck. Yeah, just puts a lot of draws on the stack to make us draws out. Yep. That's it. Just lets them resolve and we all die from it. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I'd go down my own terms, I'd crack Sphere. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Play a forest for my land return. And then tap to untap this one. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna send two in the air at you. You got it. And pass turn. Yeah. Untap. Mm -hmm. Keep. Draw. Swamp. Tap two for Guardian Idol. Tap three for Monster Rat. Mm -hmm. Six. Uh, yeah, six. Or right. right. eight. Eight. Um, oh, I'm here at 20. It's only about a third. You're right. I mean, yeah. Oh. You might need them. Yeah. Because you don't want to play them just to recast. Exactly. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, pass. Okay. Land for turn. Island. Pay two. Or three, sorry, excuse me. Um. Cast Ophidian Eye, targeting Malcolm. Any responses? Yeah, yeah. Um, it doesn't go infinite, but it does let me draw cards when he hits. Yeah, when he deals damage, he draws a card. Yeah. That's what No we're response. A2 with the green floating uh, negate, counter target on creature spell. Mm -hmm. It was really unfortunate having the Ophidian Eye countered here, but I mean, this is something someone had to respond to. Um, if I were able to get that onto Malcolm with Kedis out, not only would I be creating three treasures every time Malcolm connects, but I'd also be drawing three cards. Um, it, having that combination, I mean, that I would be able to run away with the game. Yeah, being able to have an Ancestral Recall at each combat is just powerful, and you had a Spill Pierce in hand, but against her deck... I mean, she had one mana floating from how she tapped, and she had four extra mana that she could have tapped, so it, it, there was no way I was going to interact with this um, at this moment, but if it would have stuck, it would have been great. At least it's not in her hand. I would have drawn three, though, because... Yep. Oh, well, yeah. I knew what it was going to do, but yeah. ironically, it didn't win the game, so I, I was like... You didn't care, yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. But, but it got re gate and Kelsey's hand, so. It's true. It's um, bad. combat. Combat. You don't have any flyers unblocked, or untapped, right? Right. So, two of you. Okay. Triggers to deal. Yeah, and I get the three treasures. And with that, I'll pass turn. Okay. Untap. Is its twin um, curiosity uncommon? It is. Yeah. I wish it was common. Draw? It'd be too good, yeah, I guess, for one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It does have splash, though, right? It does have splash. Could have done any of uh, during combat. You'd love to get it back. I mean, you have to replay her. Yeah. Expedition Sculptor, two. What's it here? It is Expedition Goes Right. Oh, pa -pa 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 -pa. The Skulker has Death Touch as long as you control another rogue. I don't. Um, another what? Another rogue. And this is the also the both interesting and scary parts of Popper. Board wipes are non-existent. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah, hard no. Thing. So when the boards get cluttered, it's oh. there. Ooh, easy now. Four at you, Kelsey. Okay. Pass. Okay. Mm -hmm. With five men open. How Scary. many cards? One, two, three, four, five. That is terrifying. <laughs> he played two creatures and still has five men open. Yeah. Maybe I should be playing ring. I, I don't know. Says his ring is good in, in this, yeah. I, I, I wouldn't even call your deck mid range. That's like top end playing five and six round games. Yeah. Man. 
it's an outbiter. Mm -hmm. Everyone's doing well this game. Everyone's making land drops, everyone's advancing more states rapidly. Pay four for Lore Weaver. Let's see. Float three, so forest and say two blue. Um, I don't have enough for five, six, seven, I do. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and pay into our ability, draw two cards. And then untap to that and then tap to that. Mm. Okay. And then I will attack for two in the air at Marcus. Sure. Uh, no blocks. No, re no responses. But 24. And pass turn. Okay. I'm going to pay one cycle mm -hmm. for Marins. I look at where all my good cards are at. Real small. <laughs> <laughs> you like wear it though. On time. Upkeep. Draw. Play swamp for turn. Mm -hmm. Tap two. Activate guardian idol. Mm -hmm. It becomes a two two, two, two. until end of turn. Yeah. Artifact creature. Move to combat. Okay, I will swing these. These are four fours. I'll swing four eight twelve at you, and I will swing this two two at you, Corey. I'll take two. Um, I'll block with Salvager Secrets and Lore Reaper. Where? Um, I guess. Salvager Secrets and then more Weaver before damage. Mm -hmm. Tap for a blue, two blue and a color, or yeah, two blue and a green basically. Return target permanent to owner's hand, I'll return her to my hand. Yeah, pay three. Pay three. Buy it back. To return, yeah, to return it to your hand. Okay. Yeah, so uh, you blocked commander with commander and then you blocked six. Yeah, and then Salvager yeah. Secrets will die. Yeah, and yeah. so you'll just, you just take four. four. So I decided to make a huge attack against Kelsey. At this time, she's got a lot of board presence and she's just one card away from winning, so I felt like I had to deal with that. So I swung all the rats at her and the Guardian Isle at Corey. Corey's not gonna block with his commander, so that's like a basically free two damage against him. Kelsey being able to block with her commander and then capsize buyback. Yeah, I don't know if that was the best play here. Um, she's got so much mana that recasting Lore Weaver wouldn't have really been a big deal anyway. Um, I can kind of understand maybe wanting to cast it for cheaper and then pay seven into it maybe the same turn she casts to dig a little bit deeper. Um, but I, I don't think showing Capsize there was the best line. Yeah, because with Capsize, with enough mana, she could literally bounce every permanent, so letting everyone know that not only is she a threat from coming off, but she also has a really killer card to really end yeah. the game. Made her it, even a more of a target. Yeah, it paints a big target on her back, I feel, or even bigger target at this exactly. point. So okay. then I'm going to sack Commander Sphere. Draw a card. I'm going to tap uh, three, play a, another Rotten Strap. Mm -hmm. And then end my turn, this returns to yeah, mana. Yeah, uh, Pass. Yeah, that's it. That's okay. all what more do you want from me? I'm just playing rats here. <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, careful study. Draw two, discard two. The blue, Faithless Living. Nice. Um, um, Seat of the Synod and Step Through. Crack. Two treasures for blue. Anticipate. Look at the top three. One in my hand, rest on the bottom, and then elaborate any order. Seems good. Put this to hand, this on the bottom. I'll pay two to cast Pilly Pala. Hmm. Uh, it's one one flying. It has pay two, untap it to add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Move combat. Combat. 
Kelsey. Two at you, triggers. Deals the extra two. I get the treasures, go four treasures. Pass turn. Okay, um, I made a couple big mistakes in this turn, um, specifically discarding step through to the careful study. Um, if you pay close attention, you can kind of see what I draw from the anticipate. I draw into the Pili Pala, which I proceed to play. Um, so I didn't have that in hand when I discarded the step through. The problem is step through has wizard cycling. You can use that to grab Blades of Bellis Fell or Wings of Bellis Fell, which gives a creature all creature types, which is very important to the combo to win with Malcolm and another creature turning into a pirate. Um, so yeah, discarding step through here was not a good decision. Untap. Draw. Land for turn. Pay two. Blade Brand. Target creature gains death touch. Draw a card. Which creature do you target? Start card. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Just for the card draw. Yeah. Yeah, that's only why it's in there. Yeah, I'm <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh. Three. For Vampire Noble. Vanilla? Okay. This is vanilla. I was trying to read that text and I was like, oh, that's it's only good. <laughs> yeah, it's only good because he's here. You want to pass. Whoa! So, played Blade Brand, giving this creature Death Touch and a Druid card, so the cantrip's great, but it's an instant speed spell. He said he was trying to dig. Not sure what his deck is trying to dig for other than a removal spell, but yeah. could have swung out with at least a few creatures and. Kelsey's tapped down, no blockers, no lands available, no mana, and just passes. So I'm assuming he's afraid of a crackback from the rats, but with his first strike, he can double block my rats down, and I'll lose that fight every single time. Yeah. So not attacking, surprising. Man, that's scary. You, you're afraid of me attacking you? Is that why you came in the back? I'm just, you know, being precautious. <laughs> Haven't really made any enemies yet. Uh... That's not how more presence is working. No. <laughs> I'm I just, mean, I'm hoping, I'm praying. I mean, she would only ever attack with Mold Director and that has flying and he'd yeah. ever attack with mm -hmm. Mountain, which has flying. So you keep in your creature's back to direct no more. Just, yeah, you know, exactly. Like, <laughs> go. So I take that as a, uh, yeah. I mean, that's the whole reason I played main phase two, Rat. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I guess we should play main phase one. One to the top, one to the bottom. Oh, no, Zero Visions. For Zero Visions. Draw card. Um, pay one, two, three, four, um, one blue, and then the rest, um, colorless for Lore Weaver, getting her back out. Mm -hmm. And then, um, pay green for Light Weaver. Yep. Yeah. Nothing to that. Untap. Untap. Seven. Yeah, for draw two cards. Mm -hmm. Island for Lincoln. Um, pass. <laughs> you got two blue open, so you just got negate. Counterspell. Counterspell. He's got removal for days. You got combo counterspell. I don't, I don't know. Because <laughs> I don't want to spend mana doing something when someone else yeah, takes advantage of removal. Just trying to sit on removal. Yeah. Yeah. It's just two lands, but you gotta sell that. Uh, my for turn. <laughs> I'll tap two. Animate my guardian idol. I don't think I have a choice anymore. I'm gonna have to alpha strike somebody. Why I die from the crack back? That's the real question, really. All right. Uh, all right. So I'm gonna swing the guardian idol at you again, Corey. Yep. And I'll swing the rats at you, Kelsey. Okay, so 16? 5, 10, 15, 20. Oh. Yeah, because they pump each other. I, yeah. I mean, I'm not going to block that, so I'll go ahead and resolve my damage. You don't want to block the card? I don't want to block the card. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll block Commander with Mole Drifter. And then? And then one of the rats with Lore Weaver. Okay. And, and then take 10. Take 10, okay. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Okay. Main phase 2, end stuff. Mm -hmm. Garnell turns into nothing. Okay. I'll untap. Drop. I'll tap three for compulsive research, targeting myself. Uh, target player draws three cards and then discards two cards unless I discard a land. It doesn't untap? 
Oh, I'm thinking frantic. You're thinking frantic search. Yep, 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 yep. Um, I will discard that. Hmm. Um, I'll then crack a treasure for blue to cast ponder. And draw. Land for turn, I'll play a Mystic Sanctuary. Hmm. It enters untapped. And I get to return instant of sorcery to top. I'm going to target step through. What's that do? Um, I pay five. I can return two tar creatures to their owner's hand, or I can wizard cycle it for two colorless. Hmm. Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay, so thankfully I didn't get punished from discarding step through earlier. I I think I drew into the Mystic Sanctuary in this turn. Um, or maybe I hit it off the careful study when I discarded step through. I really can't remember. Um, the important thing is that at this point I am setting up for a potential win um, on my next turn at this point because I do have Quicksilver Dagger already in hand and now that I'm going to be getting back step through, I'll be able to go grab something to turn Philly Pile into a pirate. Exactly. I will move to combat. Marcus, I'll send the team, the team at you. All right, take four. Okay, trigger Malcolm, deal to everyone else, get three treasures. Um, I'm just gonna pass the turn after that. Do I have cards in hand? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Draw. Mm -hmm. One black for Shadow Alley Dennison. What'd it do? It is whenever another black creature enters the battlefield under your control, target creature gains intimidate until end of turn. So I went Pay over five. Spell to get someone. Anointed Deacon. Uh, at the beginning of your combat, your turn, you may have a target vampire gain two zero until end of turn. Uh, gains intimidate. I get to choose. I'm going to pick vampire noble. Noble. Um, and when that one enters the battlefield, you get two out of someone else. Yes. Well, at the beginning of your combat. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. So this is a five. Let's see. Four. I'm going to give it to this. It has Intimidate. I'm going to swing. This is you, Kelsey. Four. It is six. four, five, six. Mm -hmm. Intimidate. Which means it can't be blocked except by an artifact creature or a creature that shares a color tag with it. Mm -hmm. So, I'm out. So, here we see Dalton give the final blow to Kelsey, taking her out of game three. But again, he attacks with just one creature. I'm tapped out, have no creatures to block. Corey's tapped out on yeah. creatures, has no creatures to block, and he's sitting back with five other creatures. It just feels like he could keep pushing this momentum, but he sat back. I'm assuming he's worried about a crack back attack from myself, but you could still move a few in there to chip down the damage. Yeah, worst case, I think he should have been sending a couple my way. Absolutely. Um, especially because I've got some combo pieces on the board, I think me attacking previous turn was a bad decision anyway, but again, didn't get punished for this. Um, I think everybody else's board state kind of distracted from what I was doing. Right, yeah. I, we didn't see at the table at that moment that Corey was also very close to coming off. We knew that he had stepped through on top of his library, which allowed him to the wizard cycle for something, but we didn't know what he already had in hand that he was just one draw away from winning. Last turn for me. Lamp return. I'm just gonna make him do the dirty work and just pass turn. I I can't attack you. Ow. I, I can't I can't. And after watching Dalton make the same mistake twice, <laughs> I thought let me join on this team. I, I can't attack him and if I attack I, I die. die. Yeah. And just sending one is just asking for retaliation. Yeah. Wizard cycle for two? You have the switch. Yep. I want to reveal Wings of Bellis Bell. It's a tribal instant shapeshifter. It has changeling. So yeah, target creature, all its creature types. Yep. And it comes a 4 4 against flying. Okay, so yeah, that turn. Yeah. But I can grab it because it is considered a wizard. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to pay two to go ahead and Wings of Bellis Bell, Pilly Follow. Making it all creature types. <sighs> um, yep. No, I'll let you have yeah. to turn. You're yeah. good. I got him. Okay. 
then pay three to cast Quicksilver Dagger. It's an enchantment. I'm gonna be targeting that. It's the tap deal of damage. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Um, I will then move to combat. So that's the two mana, two mana, two mana, two mana. Yeah. Okay. So I'll swing Malcolm your way, Pilly Polly your way. Question. Yeah. Is it each or target player? Target. I mean, if you kill Dalton first, I ain't got a problem. <laughs> Um, but essentially, before coming to Zelt, if either Malcolm or Pilla are on the battlefield, we lose. Just, just, just to explain that in layman's last grasp, Malcolm. That is destroy. Neg negative three. Negative, negative three, three, minus three. Three minus three. Okay. I will in response. I will. Spell pierce it. Mm -hmm. Counter target spell unless it's controlled pays two. Pay two. So I'll let this resolve. That's still on the stack. Um, yeah. <laughs> only. Only was it three or four, right? So yeah. there we are. Crack a treasure for blue, tap this to cast miscalculate. Counter target spell unless uh, caster pays an additional two. I got it. Oh no. I will tap to to Doom Blade Flea Power. Um So in response, mm -hmm. draw some cards. I will Pay two. Arcane denial. Counter it. Counter it. And resolve. Yeah. If I draw a card now. No, it's at the next that next turn's upkeep. Ah. Well. All right. Um. So damage is dealt. I make two, three treasures, and I. Crack two to untap and make sure I got this right. So I pay two to untap it, adding blue to my mana pool, let's say. I then tap to make another treasure, dealing damage to you. Mm -hmm. And okay, yeah, because I yeah. get a treasure, crack it, or. You can make two treasures, and tapping him makes a third. So yeah. you'll always be at one treasure, mm -hmm. creating two, cracking one, yeah. and you draw a card each time. Yeah, because I but... still have one floating from him. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, so uh, you, you'll deal the 40 damage before you deck yourself. Well, I don't draw cards. I just deal damage. Oh, oh so well, it does draw a card, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That one does draw a card. So yeah, I would be drawing cards and deal. Yeah. I still have way more than 40. So, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So that's it. And that is the end of game three of our three game set where we saw Corey fumble his way to victory through a couple misplays and bad lines. Do you want to elaborate on those? Uh, yeah, I do actually, because this is a very sloppy game. Um, before I get into what I should have done differently, I want to explain the Pili Pala combo a little better than I did there at the end. Um, basically, you only need one extra mana to put into that to go infinite because the, you can tap Pili Pala when it has the enchantment on it to create a treasure through Malcolm. Crack the treasure, tap the other mana that you've got open, you've got two, untap, Pili Pala adds a mana, you then tap again, create a treasure, crack that, you got two floating. So I confused myself there at the end, made it more convoluted than it needed to be. Anyway, uh, yeah, the first mistake was definitely discarding the step through earlier in the game. Um, should have kept that in hand. Thankfully, I was able to get it back. And you saw there, it led to me winning, being able to go grab Wings of Ellis Vell. Um, the last line that I took, I really had tunnel vision going into that. I had the counter spells in hand. I was very focused on wanting to make more mana with attacking with Malcolm first, um, because I've been doing that throughout the entire game to that point anyway. 
Um, so I was, I was really focused in on that when I shouldn't have been. Um, if you notice, I ended up using, I think, seven mana after I had Wings of Ellis Veil cast on Philly Pala and Quicksilver Dagger, because I did the Spell Pierce, Miscalculation, Anticipate, or not Anticipate, um, Arcane Denial, and two to untap Philly Pala. So seven there. What I should have done is once I had Philly Pala as a pirate and Quicksilver Dagger on it, I should have just threatened the combo in my first main phase. Dalton would have had to respond due to turn order, and at that point, I just pay two to untap Pili Pala. Pili Pala's ability is a mana ability, so it doesn't use a stack. You can't respond to it. It would have added one mana to my mana pool. After that point, with Pili Pala now untapped again, I tap, threaten the combo again. That means you would have had to go for Doomblade. Again, I spin two, untap Pili Pala, add another mana to my mana pool. I've got two floating, and then I just threaten again. If your last card would have been removal, Repeat process. I just repeat the process using the two floating that Philly Pilot created at that point and just win with all the removal in the stack. The way I went about it, I was so focused on getting more mana and relying on the counter spells in my hand that I didn't, I didn't see that. But if your last card would have actually been a removal spell, it would have been a blow up and I would have definitely lost. Um, so, yeah, not the cleanest <laughs> win. I definitely shouldn't have won that. Um, <laughs> Not proud of it, but a win's a win, I guess, right? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so that was the end of the first set of games we played. We'll have a new set coming up in two weeks, looking to release every other Wednesday with a new set of commanders. And if there's a particular uncommon creature that you'd like to see featured as a commander, let us know in the comments. Also, be sure to like, subscribe, and be sure to join us next time, where we will see who will achieve greatness at any cost.